Hello and happy Friday. It is Halloween weekend, so I hope that you're doing something fun. My husband and I are going on a ghost tour tonight, so I hope that it's very spooky, but also not too spooky because I'm a baby and a little bit afraid and I 100% believe in ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? Drop it below in the comments because I just want to know. Anyway, before we hop into the weekend, we are just going to touch on a topic that is incredibly important. So many women come to me with comments like, Ariel, I just don't have any energy. I'm feeling tired, I'm sluggish, I'm having a hard time getting through the day. Or, Ariel, I can't lose these last couple pounds. I can't figure out how to lose weight. It's just not working. Something's not working for me. So my question to them is then, how much water are you drinking? And usually I will get like a glazed over look, like what's water, <laughs> which is pretty wild. So water is so incredibly important. Our bodies are made up of over 60% water. In addition to that, if we went like three or four days without drinking water, we would die. Okay. So just to recap water, very important. That being said, so many women live in a chron chronic state of dehydration. When you're chronically dehydrated, this is what's going on in your body. You're going to have low energy. Your body's just not functioning properly. You're having a hard time flushing out toxins. You're feeling extra hungry. Usually those hunger signals are your body's way of trying to tell you like, hey, drink some water. And we just don't realize that. Our heart has to work harder to pump blood because our blood is thicker. So we're not getting that good burn uh, when we're working out, different things like that. So again, preventing us from losing so much weight. Um, and we're also holding on to water. So water retention just means our body doesn't want to let go of anything because it's afraid. It's like, no, I'm already dehydrated. Please don't let go of any more water. And also in addition to all of those things, a lot of women that aren't drinking enough water have chronic constipation, bloating. They just like have that fullness feeling in their stomach and it's uncomfortable. Okay. Now when you switch and start drinking enough water, what's going to happen? You're going to have much higher energy. You're going to start feeling full faster. And when you start to feel full faster, that means you're going to eat less food and you're going to start losing weight, okay? You're also going to start flushing out toxins. You're going to have glowing skin. Your organs are going to be working properly and it's going to help with that constipation and bloating. It's going to help move food through, through your digestive through your digestive tract and help with better digestion so you get rid of that fullness feeling in your stomach and feel good, okay? Now, how much water should you be drinking? We should all be drinking anywhere between 100 ounces to 128 ounces of water every day. That's about a gallon of water to put that into perspective. That sounds like an overwhelming number to a lot of people that are used to drinking no water. So when I'm working with a client that doesn't drink enough water, I will start them pretty low. I'll say, okay, let's start at 32 ounces this week. And next week we're going to bump up to 40 ounces and I'll slowly just bump her up like eight ounces every week until we get to that goal. And it's wild. Like even within drinking a little bit more water, women are telling me like, I, I just feel so much better. It's insane. It's just such a simple trick to add into your lifestyle that we should all be doing to make us feel better. So just to recap, a way to get more energy, lose weight, feel good, flush out toxins and have glowing skin, drink more water, okay? If you have any topics or questions that like you would like me to cover on this page, please just drop it below in the comment and I will talk to you soon. Have an awesome Halloween weekend.